here see that in sequential models okay sequential model is nothing but in a sequential right in is in uh, general english what is sequence nothing but one by one right step by step yeah step by step yeah. nothing but here in that sequential model what the process will go means in a name itself it is telling that sequential it, you have to go in a step by step manner means one after one another after one okay means see this waterfall model okay this is first the same thing the phases will not be changed over here okay but the thing is in which format they are going that will be this uh, that will be different okay here see that the diagram is like waterfall right but how the waterfall will be flow from uh, up to down like that only the flow will be there that's why they have given the particular name it as waterfall model okay are you getting dipesh yeah, yeah, yeah. no okay this you know that uh, user requirements after completion of user requirements they will go to another thing system requirements after that high level design low level design coding testing delivery nothing but it's this is uh, will going on in a sequential way okay means waterfall model is suitable for small size applications okay means i will tell you one example for this waterfall model okay if you take any institute application means institute uh, should maintain some application right because every day the persons will come for a particular inquiry some people will join and after joining the particular uh, course they have to decide the course after deciding the course which faculty means if you are taking uh, any subject you have different types of i mean different Uh, many members in the particular institute are related to who is going to teach the particular subject okay at that point of time they have to decide the faculty after deciding the faculty they have to maintain one id card for the students right every day they have to check it up means to maintain all this data means they they have to maintain the students data right every day data correct for maintaining all this data they need some application right means yeah. they have means if they want to run the business successfully they have to analyze that every day how many people are coming after that in in 100 inquiries if per day 100 inquiries are there how many members are joining in that means if the people who are giving the uh, particular uh, what is we call uh, that uh, introduction nothing but they have to give some introduction right the receptionist will be there who is going to give the presentation to the students okay is they are working properly or not okay they have to cross check all those things to uh, maintain all these things they have to maintain some application right yeah for maintaining that application if they are giving some contract to the company means it is a small size application if you are means if for this small size application are you going to reach uh, mnc's like infosys or tcs like this is the companies are you going to reach Well, not really. This is a very small uh, application, yes, so right. you can always customize uh -huh. like this. Like this, this is the water. This is this is suitable for only small size application. That too, they are means small size companies, initial startup companies. They are going to take these projects, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly means this is the best example for waterfall model. Nothing but it will be useful for only small size applications. And one more thing you have to keep in mind. the requirement should be clear mm -hmm. requirement should be clear then only we will go for waterfall model yeah, yeah because the risk of uh, ha ha because we are going in a step by step manner right means mm -hmm. after completion of total coding then only we are going to test the application test means, the application the risk is not yeah in a starting class i told you that means cost of fixing defect you have to keep in mind every time Absolutely, yeah. At that point of time, if you are going in a step-by-step -step manner like this, means every time the cost of fixing defect means if the particular uh, defect means in, in by while taking the requirements, if they are doing any mistake at that point of time, means the cost of fixing defect will be very larger while we are testing. Right? Yeah. That is the one of the drawback of our right. model. And it is useful for it is limited to only limited small size project. It is one of the drawback of waterfall model. Got it? Yes. The drawback you use a cost of uh, cost of defect. Yeah. Uh, Means while we are dealing with defects. Yes, right. 
because we are going in a sequential way means after coding that if you have to get the problem okay it is very difficult to get that where we are going to get the problem after that if you want to fix that problem it will take much more time and it will take much more money mm -hmm. that is a major drawback okay yeah this is the thing it means i don't need to explain uh, the phases say once again right you know all these things no you don't need to know okay Next. In terms of uh, low low level design, mm. uh, after high level design, so mm. low level design is it going to be like a, a further uh, detailed design of particular uh, same uh, units? Same document means high level design and low level design are give you same information, but the representation is different. So what will be? Can you can you talk me through a little bit about uh, HL HLD and LLD? What what it contains it's not required in the page actually high level design means okay. uh, means it's, it's required for development side actually you don't need for testing side okay that's right means you have to know about okay. frs document means what it contains frs what it contains and what is the test plan document okay what are the documents contains you need that information in depth Okay. Okay. As a tester, we are we are going to get those things in uh, in depth for that high level design, low level design. We are not going to face those things. Means we are not going to see those documents also. Okay, not a problem. Okay, these are the things. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, these are the drawbacks of the particular test uh, waterfall model. Okay, it will it will useful for only small size application, and it is not for big size applications. Why they are not going for big size applications? Also, I have given you that means coding. After completion of coding only, they will go for testing. They won't test in every phase. That is a major drawback mm. of waterfall model. Mm. 